What's up guys, my name is Adam aka The Chief and you are watching part 4 in my Bound by Flame Let's Play series. So, we just made it through the swamp that we just began. It was actually really quick, he just ran <laughs> literally right through it, killing some of these monsters. Um, there was a problem with my recording software, that's why I wasn't able to catch it. But, we made it to the village, safe and sound. We leveled up twice and we are going to... This guy talks in third person. I'll let you guys see this because it is very very strange, watch this. Yo. Talk to me. Yo. Yo. Talk to me. Whatever. He just had a bunch to say and now he's just... God dang it. Whatever. Ooh, loot. I seen that. Oh, yeah. I'm like busting up your barrels, bro. Taking everything. Can I kick these in? No. Ooh, but I can't kick this one. Uh, it's, it's funny how you just bust it open. So yeah, yeah, don't mind me. I'm just breaking your guys' barrels and boxes. You know, stealing all of your loot. That you guys probably earned. And now I'm just taking it. But that's what I do. So, you know, you can't be mad at me. Look at this. I'm even kicking tree stumps. Who, who puts stuff in a tree stump? This guy, obviously. Wait a minute. What is this over here? This looks like a store. I can go buy stuff. Uh, I'm gonna wait. I don't. I probably don't have any money yet. I don't remember seeing anything that had anything to do with money. So let's move on to the whatever to the village hall. I know there's somebody in here looking for me. Swamp is our best defense. Happily, the wildlife are just as keen on attacking the dead walkers as they are the villagers. That's a good sign. But the situation here in Valvanor grows worse daily. And each new wave of refugees increases the risk of drawing unwanted attention to this jungle. No Ice Lord scouts who find this village will ever escape to tell the tale. Of that, I can assure you. Also, my men are reinforcing your defenses. Forgive me for saying, but you have some serious weak points. Seriously, Especially dude. We just walked in here and nobody even course. talked to us. The arrival of the Freeborn Blades and the Red Scribes has greatly improved our chances of survival, Captain. Believe me when I say that we are most grateful to have you with us. Needless to say, your men and the Red Scribes are welcome and free to go where they will. But as for any other newcomers, our gates are closed. You must understand that our food stores are as limited as our abilities to defend our village. Until you arrived, we had but one person who was even vaguely capable of treating our injured. And the case of Prince Orendale was completely beyond her skills. Hmm. And there is this beast story. Doubtless another fairy tale, the fruit of an alcohol addled brain. Nonetheless, several of the watch have gone missing. Something hidden. I'm assuming we're gonna have to kill the beast. These disappearances. But we can't mind sacrificing any more of the few men remaining to us on sending patrols. Large groups entail moving chrysalids that are unmanageable. The others quite simply do not return. <sighs> Silence. If I were to listen to everyone, I would need ten times the number of men I the have. The demon inside me is the truth of every tale. talking. I think he's getting pissed off. Enough. <laughs> yeah. You must aid me to do this. I am not able to do that. Your endless <laughs> are unbearable. In the name of... Vulcan? But by the gods, man, what is... This world is condemned. The cold hath invaded its ground, its souls, and its heart. Yet here you stand, weaving your limbs like fish taken from the water, miserably shuffling about to conserve the illusion of warmth and life, and not feel the passing of your last breath. Well, I must endure your wailings and lamentations. Pitiful. Vulcan, stop this nonsense immediately. It is not he who speaks. All the fall to ruin about you. Yet you still bewail your loose bowels and vomitings. You cannot vanquish your dead walkers. No more than you can vanquish their necromancer masters. They draw their power from the very heart of the world. They drink it. 
They suckle it dry. Your only chance to cleanse what your own hath corrupted is to go to the World Heart and liberate it from its servitude. The World Heart is a myth, a forgotten fairy tale. No more I'm sure demons who possessed people are, was also a myth, but a look myth. at me. Continue hiding behind thy puny barricades, and thou wilt soon join thy myths and fairy tales. Exactly. Dude, that I would listen to that demon. You, you know, he probably came from the fucking world heart. You never know. Cease your pretense. I know you have returned to consciousness. <laughs> what the hell happened? I was just listening to the steward blabbing away with the captain, and then and then you lost control. I don't know. It's like something in my head zapped me so it could use my mouth, but I was still there, still thinking what I was saying. This is not the first time you have felt this presence manifest itself. No. No, it's been there since the temple. It's also in my dreams. When have you I been think... dreaming? Hmm. Interesting. It's been it not even one day. Body is host and I've been awake this entire time. Entity. I have no and clue where you're getting these dreams from. Unless you daydream the whole time that we're no killing kidding. monsters and like battling demon demons. I mean... Something of the kind. In truth, I could not say what it is. Not yet, at least. Don't make me laugh. After all, it's your disciples that let this thing out of its cage, right? Who let it's the dogs do out? It. Who let the demons do out? Do you have any idea of the implications was you. of this incident? You, you. Whatever, no big deal. What? Just because I said some weird shit? <laughs> Believe me, it's not the first time that's happened. <laughs> Obviously, you haven't understood. The thing that is inside you, it wishes you ill. But it grants me so much power. I can't get rid of him, dude. He's like my bro now. He's like a pet. You know, I can, can just be like, you know, throw some fire at that guy. You wouldn't want that power? Because I definitely would. Exactly. My place is in the world. It's not like I was the one who, you know, <laughs> who got unleashed. So that you will allow it to consume you. I never asked for this cage. I never asked to be forced to hear thy every thought. It is I who have been invaded. It speaks to you. Do not listen to it. Cast it from you. If you do not resist, it I don't will trust this guy. He, he he was supposed hey, to. He thought time, he knew what he was okay? doing, and I'm instead of doing what he was actually doing, he released this demon. It is your fault that. I whatever's happening to me is happening to me and I just gained another level I just literally leveled up like two seconds ago that's very strange uh, additional weight I guess I could probably do that right now combat I'm going to be using two-handed swords probably the probably the most out of anything to tell you the truth um, healer is not bad but I probably don't need it right now um, so yeah we'll just wait how about that? What is this? Spell cast is into instantaneous. That is going to be very, very necessary to me. And I am going to upgrade this because I like this demon. And uh, I am going to feed him as much points as possible. This is about either accepting your demons or getting rid of them. And I choose to accept him. <laughs> All right. Um, that was pretty much it. I'm going to cut this episode here uh, just because... I feel like if I go any further, ooh, a barrel, look at this. I'm going to go, don't mind me. You know, the guy who is just uh, a demon is <laughs> stealing all your shit. I don't think you want to mess with me. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like button for more Bound by Flame and news and reviews from your favorite YouTube commentator. Peace.